Now that we're in the implementation phase of CT screening, I think we have many opportunities to improve on what was seen in the NLST and to reduce lung cancer mortality. I think two of the major questions are who we should be screening, in other words, how we do risk assessment to identify the people who should be screened, and secondly, once you've been screened and you have an indeterminate nodule, how do we distinguish between those people who have lung cancer and those who don't? With respect to the former, uh, the current guidelines for screening uh, are largely based on the National Lung Screening Trial, and there have been other uh, organizations, uh, the NCCN for example, who have developed uh, what we call Category 2 criteria, which include younger age groups with a less intensive uh, smoking history and who may be current smokers of any duration of time. And limited publications have shown that those individuals, if they have an additional risk factor for lung cancer, which we, which we know about from epidemiologic data, have about the same annualized rates of lung cancer as do those people who would satisfy what were the NLST criteria. And I think the importance of that is to suggest that our use of only age and smoking criteria are probably insufficient to predict who should be screened for lung cancer and that we can reach a broader um, net of individuals who will develop lung cancer without significantly increasing healthcare costs and in fact maximize the numbers of lung cancers that we diagnose.